Measuring liquids, customary and metric measurements. We're going to be talking today about cups, pints, quarts, gallons, and for a little bit we're also going to talk about liters. All right, let's start with cups. And a cup is a small unit for measuring liquid. It's about eight ounces. It's not very big. And some examples are the amount of milk that you put in your cereal. Or if you get yourself a glass of water, you usually drink about a cup. It's not a lot. Uh, if you were trying to fill something large with a cup, it would take you a very long time to do it. The next one is uh, a pint, and a pint is two cups. You can see on our chart here uh, that I went ahead and I showed you that in every single pint, there are two cups. So if a cup is eight ounces, then a pint would be 16 ounces. And a pint is usually about a bottle of water. If you go to the store and you buy a bottle of water, that's about that, the, the size. Or maybe a bottle of uh, soda, if you drink soda. Um, so a pint... It's a little bit more, it's twice as much as a cup, but it's still not, not a whole lot. The third unit that we want to talk about is quarts. And a quart is made up of two pints. And so because we have two pints, one here and one here in every quart, then there's going to be one, two, three, four cups. So we're going to have four, cu four cups in every quart. Now a quart, that's a pretty good size. If you buy... um. If you buy a water bottle, uh, one of those recyclable water, or not recyclable, those reusable water bottles, uh, your teacher might have one, or you might have one when you play soccer or basketball. Uh, that's usually a quart. It's 32 ounces. It's, it's a good deal. Um, if you go to the store and you buy a bottle of Gatorade or some other kind of sports drink and you get one of the larger ones, that's going to be a, a quart. Uh, some folks, if they buy ice cream, they can... Uh, go and get that in a quart size as well. So a quart is, is a pretty good amount. And then the last one we are, we're going to talk about is a gallon. And a gallon is four quarts. So if you look at our chart here, I have gallon right here, and then I have one, two, three, four quarts that make up a gallon. I also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints that make up every gallon. I, uh, abbreviated the, the word pint and just put a P and we know that there are two cups for every pint so that would give us if there are eight pints in a gallon then there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen there are sixteen cups in every gallon now a gallon that's a good amount uh, that's it's a lot it's actually a hundred and twenty eight ounces and some people try to drink a gallon of water every day it's really hard to do it's a lot of water to try to to try to drink and um, but a gallon is if you're uh, if your parents or maybe even you if you go to the grocery store and you buy a, a container of milk most oftentimes it's going to come in a gallon size so enough to last you for a couple of days uh, if you go to um, go to a party and somebody asks you to bring a drink you're probably going to bring a gallon size of lemonade or Kool-Aid or something like that. Uh, that that would be a gallon size. Uh, one thing I would recommend is don't go to a, a restaurant and ask them to buy a gallon of uh, their drink because uh, that that usually can be pretty expensive. It's good, but it can be pretty expensive. All right, and then I told you we were going to talk about liters, and the, a liter is the metric unit for liquid measurement. And to be honest, we don't use liters very much in the United States. Uh, the United States uses customary measurements more, and so um, we don't use the liter very often. But uh, the liter is used to measure liquid volume, how much space a, uh, a liquid takes up, and a liter is about the same volume as a quart. It's actually a little bit more uh, than than a quart, just a just a tiny bit more than a quart. Um, but that's the one that we use. If you uh, if your mom and dad drink soda or you drink soda, you're probably used to seeing a two liter bottle. So that's a pretty good size bottle. Uh, that's uh, that would be two liters. And um, the other the other one that we use for uh, liquid measurement in the metric system is something called milliliters. And the doctor might give you uh, a prescription, like if you if you get sick and you need to take some medicine, 
the doctor might give you uh, a prescription where you take milliliters and there are actually 1,000 milliliters for every liter. So the medicine you take, uh, it's a very, very small amount but compared to a liter. All right, so we use liquid measurement every single day. Whether we're cooking, we're gardening, or we're filling a pool, we have to know the right measurement to use. If you're trying to fill a swimming pool, it's a uh, it's almost summertime when I'm recording this video. It's it's getting closer to it. If you're trying to fill a swimming pool, you're probably going to want to use a gallon more so than you would want to use a cup. Remember, a cup is a small amount and a gallon is quite large. Um, when you're cooking, chances are you're probably going to use more cups and pints than you are going to use a gallon unless you're making a large amount of something. So if you're uh, measuring the water in an aquarium, you measure it with a gallon. If you're measuring the amount of soup that you're making, uh, unless, you, again, you uh, work for a restaurant or your mom or dad owns a catering business, the, uh, the amount that you're going to use is probably a cup when it comes to, comes to that. Although I know uh, some places will sell you uh, pints and quarts of sauce and different things like that. But you definitely have to know the right measurement to use if... Uh, if you're not careful, you can end up putting too much, uh, too much of something into your recipe, and it, that can lead to a, uh, a a dangerous thing. So cups, pints, quarts, gallons, uh, and then of course in the metric system we have liters. Now please remember to like this video and please leave me a comment, especially if it was helpful to you. And also make sure to to subscribe to my videos to or to my channel to get more videos. And as always, this has been a Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade production. Thanks for watching.